Hi guys, it is a spectacularly gorgeous, we are talking about an over the top beautiful day. Now a beautiful moonlit night, and that lovely moon coming up over the mountain here. On Friday night, it is Friday the 13th, Friday the 13th, September 13th, 2024. So this is your lucky night because it is time for our latest ain't gonna happen roundup ran all the way all the way things ain't gonna happen on this unlucky planet uh, <coughs> so I still have people coming in tonight uh, at bugs in a jar farm so uh, this rant might get interrupted uh, and if it does, I'm not going to start it over, so we better dive right in. I've got 16 ain't going to happen, so I can't get too deep into any of them. And uh, just in the order they're rolling off the Rolodex here, <clears throat> you know, I have a lot of respect for this fellow who uh, might be listening to this lamp. Reynard Loki and uh, this website that I think Reynard is uh, is part of is well now I can't find the name of the website anymore I I anyway I, I don't have time I'm sorry food life earth or something uh, I have no idea why the name of the website isn't where it always is, Raynar, but anyway, uh, Food Life Earth or something like that. I uh, have so many of these things. But anyway, what is on Raynard's mind? And, and guys, I admit I did not read the story. It's uh, titled, Forest Thrive when indigenous people have legal stewardship of their land. So I I anyway, guys, now, now Reynard, I admit I haven't even read the story. I, I didn't get past the headline. It's, uh, I think I've made my position clear on the myth of the noble savage. I am not claiming that these uh, noble savage won't do a better job of protecting their forest than you know, warehouser corporation or some chipping mill sending all of our forests over there to England and stuff. But uh, it, it, I used to be a bigger victim of the myth of the noble savage as any limp dick lefty on this planet. Then I went down <clears throat> and spent four months in the Amazon rainforest getting to know these people. And, and if anyone wants to read when Sam Mitchell at Collapse Chronicles pulled his head out of his ass and disabused, disabused himself of the myth of the noble savage, you might want to read the book Peruvian Plunge. Peruvian Plunge by some fellow named Hambone Littletail. And you will... Uh, find out uh, what the deal is with, uh, with, with the myth of the noble savage, but we're going to go from the myth of the noble savage to the uh, unnoble savage, Elon Musk. Elon Musk... <laughs> makes embarrassingly stupid claim if Donald Trump loses, if Donald Trump loses, humanity will never make it to Mars. Damn it. Uh, there you go. Um... Uh, <clears throat> Anyway, let's just get to the point, uh, Elon, quote, we will never reach Mars if Kamala wins. There you go. So, we will never reach Mars 
it ain't going to happen. But only if Kamala wins. If, if Donald Trump uh, wins, I guess we are going to Mars. And matter of fact, uh, he says, uh, quote, the first crude C-R-E-W-E-D, uh, that kind of crude, the first crude flights to Mars will be in four years. Four years. There you go. Thank you, Elon. That's only if Donald wins. Uh, Okay, now, now this next one, guys, I, I'm thinking of doing a whole rant. And I'm sure any doomer out there and, and student of collapse has been taken aback by this one. I don't know what to call this. Easter Island's population never collapsed, DNA studies suggest. Many versions of this article... And uh, I, I, I'm sure you've read that. Uh, I, I, anyway, many versions of it basically uh, saying that, that, that anybody who thinks that somebody on Easter Island cut down the last tree, then, uh, then, then, then pull your head out of your ass. Never happened. Never happened. Uh, Easter Island never collapsed. There you go. And, 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 anyway, guys. Uh, so I don't really know. What do you call that? Uh, it never did. It never did happen. Never happened. But anyway, you better believe uh, that that this new paper. So it was apparently based on a, looking at 15 bones. They had 15, I don't know if it was skeletons or 15, I think it was 15 bones. And they looked at the 15 bones and said, never happened. Anyway, uh... We might get back in, 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 into that weird story in the, in, after the reaction to it comes out. All right. How about the God of Chaos? Now, the God of Chaos will, will, will happen, but the God of Chaos asteroid could still hit Earth in 2029, but we won't know for three more years. Yes, we will. We know right now that the God of Chaos asteroid, sometimes called Apophis, will not hit Earth in 2029. It ain't going to happen. You're going to be reading all of this shit, you know, for the next three years. You're going to have to be listening to this crap. Ain't going to happen. We need to be worried about the uh, humans of chaos asteroid uh, hitting the Earth this year. Because that is happening. Anyway. Uh, like this guy, Clem Sampson. Uh, now, climate change is the least of our worries. Rising sea levels and increased temperatures are nothing compared to this. Anyway, what he's talking about is belief, just, just believing in any adulterated horseshit. Excellent article on the whole subject of belief. But uh, I like how he ended up uh, and he, he talks about that song that I can't stand, that John Lennon song, Imagine. He, you know, if, if there is an anthem for clueless fucking moron, limp dick lefties, it's Imagine. Uh, 
imagine no belief. It's almost impossible. Sure, John Lennon imagined no religion, no countries, no possessions, but he stopped short of imagining no belief because he presented a very strong belief in place of these discarded faiths, the belief that we, meaning humans, could live life in peace. That is nonsense. If you think the human race is capable of living life in peace, you are sorely deluding yourself. As much as zookeepers love the chimpanzees, they know enough to keep their distance. They don't believe for one second that a primate is capable of peace. Witness the poor woman whose face was ripped off by a chimp. I feel the same way about the human race. Peace is not an option because of the biological makeup of Homo sapiens. We are a violent predator, not a peace-loving hippie. We're going to send that one out to uh, Veg the Aging Hippie. Veg, do you want to uh, comment on that? about uh, the human race. Peace is not an option. We are a violent predator, not a peace-loving hippie. All right, here we go. I, I, I think I read some version of this headline, uh, what, about once a month? Jamaica to deploy a limited number of soldiers and police to help fight gangs in Haiti. Yes. Jamaican Prime Minister Andrew Holmes announced Tuesday that his country would send two dozen soldiers and police officers to Haiti this week to boost a UN-backed mission led by Kenya to fight violent gangs. All right. 24 more people. Now, probably what is going to happen and, and what's building, of course, is a, another this UN invasion of, of Haiti. It, it, it's what they're putting together here, guys. Uh, now, the, the this UN invasion of, of, of Haiti probably is going to happen uh, in, in the next year. But if anybody thinks for one minute that a the UN invading Haiti is, is going to keep the collapse of Haiti, uh, anyway, uh, moving on. Uh, okay, I need to run this story by, uh, by Elliot Jacobson to get his thoughts on it. Uh, latest news about methane. I need to, hold on, I need to, uh, check, uh, all right, Margaret is arriving at 10.30. Okay, so I'm in good shape. Come on, Margaret, take your time. Uh, where was I? All right, methane. This is not, not that anybody uh, listening to Collapse Chronicles is thinking for one millisecond that... Uh, the global industrial cor corporatocracy is going to do a damn thing about reducing methane levels. Uh, anybody uh, suffering that notion, if you ever hear any bullshit about a, some greenwashing horseshit about how we're going to reduce methane levels, here's the latest news. 
methane rising faster than other greenhouse gases. Concentrations in the atmosphere of the powerful greenhouse gas methane are rising at an accelerating pace, <clears throat> threatening efforts by countries to meet their climate targets. Researchers warned on Tuesday, do you think so? Uh, this is an international group of researchers under the aegis of the Global Carbon Project in a study published in environmental research letters, quote, methane is rising faster in relative terms than any major greenhouse gas and is now 2.6 fold higher than in pre-industrial times. Uh, Elliot, do you agree with that? Uh, okay, methane hit 41.8 million tons in 2020, uh, and it, it, anyway, I, I'm going to leave this one up to uh, to Elliot. He he is my go-to methane guy. Uh, but I, I, I'm, I'm still with the thing, and I think that uh, Elliot would agree with me that anybody thinking uh, that we're going to turn the methane train around is as clueless about turning any other train around. Okay. Here is the... Uh, well, if Elon Musk doesn't get uh, Hopium Addict of the Week, how about Tees van der Hoven, the controversial plan to turn a desert green. Tees van der Hoven's ambitions are nothing if not grand. Grand. Uh, how about totally, completely, uh, batshit crazy? T.S. Van der Hoeven's ambitions are nothing if not batshit crazy. The Dutch engineer wants to transform a huge stretch of inhospitable desert into green, fertile land teeming with wildlife. His sights are set on Egypt's Sinai Peninsula, an arid triangle-shaped expanse that connects Africa with Asia. Thousands of years ago, it was bursting with life. But years of farming and other human activity hmm, have helped turn it into a barren desert. Van der Hoeven is convinced he can bring it back to life. Yes. Okay. Why did I flag Mike Meyer off of Medium.com? The race for survival. We, meaning humans, will survive but our current cultures may not. Do you think so, Mike? Uh, <laughs> anyway. Uh, oh, I, uh, I wanted uh, to read uh, this UN, I don't know what D, well, Okay, I was going to say, I don't know what DP stands for. I heard some other doomer talking about DP. I love this. UNDP. Okay. The, the <laughs> I, I, I love it. Uh, uh, UNDP Administrator Achim Steiner said, 
the results of some survey clearly illustrate that urgent climate action has broad support among people around the globe, across nationalities, age, gender, and education level. Yes, but more than that, this poll reveals how people want their policymakers to tackle the crisis. From climate-friendly farming to protecting nature and investing in a green recover a green recovery from corona panic, the survey brings the voice of the people to the forefront of the climate debate. Yes. It signals ways in which countries can move forward with public support as we work together to tackle this enormous challenge. And then, of course, uh, 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 of course, uh, Mike Myers has some um, uh, has some words uh, uh, about that. Uh, the correction, according to Mike Myers, is to encourage and facilitate a low birth rate. Yes, national incentives must focus on further reducing the birth rate and increasing education and financial well-being with asset redistribution. Yes. Politically, we need genuinely representative governments. Yes. Uh, our best estimates are that this planet could sustainably support about 3 billion people. This is a physical reality, and people, specifically in cities, must avoid having children if they can. Population reduction is a critical aspect of our race to survive. Dream. Okay, what is Fox News? Uh, you know, I I absolutely love how Fox how Fox News spins their headlines. So they start off scientists. This is the headline. It's as far as I got, and I'm not going to get beyond the headline. Scientists call for Americans to cut off their air conditioning in summer, claiming it, meaning uh, air conditioning, causes global warming. So, of course, what, uh, what, what Fox News is claiming is that uh, air conditioning, you know, it does not cause, I'm sorry. <clears throat> That's not you, is it, Margaret? Is that you, Jerry? Or is... Yeah. Ah, it's, oh, it's yeah. you. Okay, but it's not Margaret. No. Okay. So what's going on with you, brother? Um, Wi-Fi spotty up there, so I'm gonna hang out here a little bit. All right. Uh, it, I mean, sometimes it's very strong, and then just comes and goes. Or do you have your phone set on Wi-Fi calling? No. Oh, well, okay. What you need to do is put your... We, I, I'm sorry I didn't go over this with you. We had other things that kind of got in my way of my usual tour. You put your phone on Wi-Fi calling, and the password is bugs in a jar. Yeah, I figured out the password. I could, I can connect. It's just that um, 
the Wi-Fi signal uh, just came in and out. From in, uh, uh, okay, yeah, I mean, it, it's okay if you hang out down here. I'm just waiting for this other woman to come here. So, all right. I can't do it. I can't, uh, I can't go home myself until she gets here. And now she's saying 1030. So obviously, well, hell, I'm up to 26 minutes anyway. I had four more to go, but uh, <laughs> it, it, it's hard to be a vacation rental super host and a uh, chronicler of the collapse of everything at the same time. Uh, anyway, I think you get the point. Bye, guys.